Hey guys, with the holidays right around the corner, I thought it would be a great idea to talk about some of the marketing strategies we use here at Suit Social, uh, our social media marketing agency, for our clients' campaigns to make sure they're driving revenue, sales, leads, um, and really taking advantage of everything going on in the holiday season. People are in that buying mood, they're looking, they're shopping, they're buying, they're spending money. We wanna make sure that you can capitalize on that. So today I'm gonna go through five of the strategies that we use here that you need to ensure you're doing properly if you wanna make the most out of the holiday season. So let's take a walk over to the boardroom and let's get this on a whiteboard. So the first thing that you need to do to ensure that you have a successful marketing season is of course, planning and strategy, okay? So every great marketing campaign starts out with a plan. It starts out with a strategy. And a strategy is not just something we say, it's not a buzzword, it's not something we just say, oh, you need to have a plan. I mean, you actually need to sit down with your team, with your staff, and actually go over what the game plan is. And when I say game plan, I mean A, what are your goals, right? Work backwards. What are you trying to achieve this holiday season? Is it a revenue target? Are you building your list? Is it customer engagement? Is it audience growth? You need to figure that out and that's gonna become a goal for your business and you gotta build that into your plan. Then you have to figure out how you're gonna achieve that plan, right? And like I said, I like to work backwards. I reverse engineer. So when we know our goals, I can say, okay, What's the best way to achieve those? Do we need to be running paid advertising? Do we need to fill a bunch of content? Do we need to run a contest locally? Do we need to do an influencer campaign? What's the best way that I can actually achieve that, that, that goal, that objective that we're gonna have? Um, and then I build that all out and I run it by my team, my partners, I think about it, I plan it, I look at other people and what they're doing and how that compares to my strategy and I put it all down on paper. Even if it's as simple as pulling out your phone and going on like Evernote and just writing out a notepad and a checklist of your ideas, put it down on paper. Don't just start throwing things out all willy nilly and kind of all over the place and all random um, because that never works. You've probably done that before, you know it doesn't work, okay? So, two. The second thing, once you have your plan and your strategy, is you have to seriously consider the content and the media that is needed to pull this all off, right? You can't market on social media without content. You need something. You need photos, you need graphics, you need videos. You have to figure out what's gonna be kind of the best combination of the two or one or the other for your strategy, right? What's your game plan? Like for example, if I'm promoting a new line of clothing for the holidays, I might wanna take a proper video promotion of different people, different models wearing the clothing and I wanna prepare that ahead of time. You know, book those shoots, get the videographer in, or even do it on your phone, right? whatever it is. Like as long as you have the content, you gotta figure out what that is. My favorite is always video. I always find that video performs better than anything else although high quality photos are definitely a close second, but video just gets you the most engagement, the most watch time, people are actually engaging with that content because they can stick around. It's not just like a quick thing they're gonna scroll by. It plays, they see stuff happening, they stick around, and you get more kind of eyeball time, as I call it, with that prospect. So video is great, and so in that case, you gotta figure out what video specifically do you need? So again, it doesn't have to be complicated. Pull your phone to your pocket, your notepad, uh, a notebook, Evernote, whatever, and write down, okay, what are three, four, five videos we need to promote this whatever we're doing during the holiday season? So based on your plan and your strategy, if you're doing a contest, if you're doing a new product launch, if you're doing a big sale, what assets do you need to be able to put that out into the marketplace and sell and promote and market, okay? That's number two, plan that ahead of time, shoot it ahead of time, get it all ready and all queued up, okay? Number three, number three is simple, pre-hype. I tell my team this all the time. Don't start posting about your holiday promotions, your events, your products, the day before the holidays, right? You wanna hype up way in advance. The longer runway you have, the better. Right, so early December, I'll already start talking about holiday marketing in my case, right? I'll start giving tips, I'll start talking about this. Then I, I know I'm gonna do a holiday offer, I start talking about that offer, that it's coming up. Hey guys, we're gonna do something very special for the holidays, this, this, that, keep an eye out for it. I hype it up, I build it up. Hey, something very special coming a few days away. I talk about it as far in advance as I can. So people start becoming aware, they're waiting, they're almost getting anxious. So don't be afraid to pre-hype your holiday content, your holiday offers, your holiday marketing. Don't just do it the week of the holiday, right? Run it the whole month. Look at big brands, right? When you go to like Ikea and you go to Walmart, they're running their holiday promos the whole, by November. By November, they're already hyping up that sales are coming, then they're announcing them, then they're actually running them. And so do the same thing in your business. Don't wait for like December 20, 
4th to start your holiday marketing or a post about the holidays. Because a lot of businesses will do like, you know, for Christmas Day, for example, just a generic Merry Christmas to all our great customers and whatever. Here's just, no, you gotta hype the whole season. So part of when you're planning and creating content, create it around that pre-hype. What do you need before the actual holidays, okay? Did I, I didn't write that down. <laughs> okay, number four, and the most important thing, the most important part of running successful marketing during the holidays is, you need to leverage paid ads, paid advertising, specifically on social media, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, Pinterest ads, anything that you can run because these days organic social media just does not have the reach that it used to. Even your followers, your followers are not all seeing your content. Maybe you have a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand and you post and you're only still getting 10 likes, 20 likes. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Organic reach is dropping and it's harder and harder to get in front of your customers. So if you're only depending on that little bit of organic reach, that little sliver of attention that Facebook and Instagram is allowing you to still have, you're not gonna get your content very far and your holiday marketing is not gonna do very well. You need to spend money to get in front of the right customers. That doesn't mean it has to be just cold audience and cold traffic. A lot of times we run retargeting ads. Retarget everybody who's been visiting your website. Retarget everyone who's engaged with your content in the past, right? Retarget any of your leads or email lists that you have in your database already, but pay to get in front of them and push these promotions farther. Right? Even if it's as simple as just boosting and promoting the content you're pumping out through the holidays so more people see it, but it could be as complicated as build an actual online social media ads funnel like we do for our clients, a three-step funnel that really just grabs all the attention in the area, generates leads, and then sells the final offer. We do that for all of our clients during the holidays. Actually, all year we pretty much follow that framework. Um, that's something you can look into as well. We have videos like that on our website, on our YouTube channel, you can go back and see. And actually next week or the week after, I believe I'm doing a whole uh, version of that, of how to build a marketing funnel for your holiday marketing plan as well. But it could be as simple as just boosting the content, okay? Number five. Number five is have fun with this, okay? It's marketing, it's business, it's flowing, it's energy. Don't get too caught up in the details and the how-to, you know, the, the, the whole paralysis by analysis thing. Have fun with it, okay? It doesn't just have to be promotions or ads or here's a discount. Run a contest. Have like an interactive type of game or experience. Like for example, one of my team members had an idea to do like the Ellen DeGeneres 12 days of Christmas, like every day, a new offer, a new promotion, a new highlight. Um, you know, run a contest where your audience can engage with you, can comment, can like, can share, can tag, can participate and get competitive, right? Make this fun. It's not just gonna be all about, here's our holiday sale, here's our holiday sale, here's our holiday sale. Have fun with it, right? Dress up your staff and do some games in the office and film it and put it out there. Whatever it really takes, okay? Now, that's the five tips, but I always try to throw in a bonus. I never do the number I say I'm gonna do. I always give one bonus. So my bonus tip, okay? My bonus tip, actually, let me finish that. Five was have fun, okay? So my bonus tip, I always forget to write stuff is monitor and engage. One of the biggest mistakes that we see businesses make during the holidays is maybe they do all this stuff right, but no one's there on a day-to-day -day basis on social media monitoring and engaging with people in real time. And it's a huge missed opportunity. When people are commenting on your holiday content, comment back, thank them follow them, send them a DM thanking them and sending them a custom offer just for them. If they're liking your Facebook post, invite them all to like your page, bring them into your community, right? You have to be engaging with that audience throughout the holiday season. It has to be a back and forth, a give and take. Don't just post all your content and your ads into the void and leave it. Someone needs to be there. It takes five, 10 minutes a day. Go on your phone, go on your computer. But the other part of that is the actual monitoring. Pay attention as you go through the holidays, what's working and what's not right? Like when you're posting stuff, there's always a difference. What you post today versus tomorrow, you'll notice one got more likes, one got more comments, one got more shares. Look at that and go, okay, what went right? What made that do better than the other one? Take that and try to add it to the rest of the stuff you're doing for that season. So that by the holiday time, Christmas time and all this, your marketing is just narrowed right in. Like you've narrowed down, you know what you're trying to say, you know what works, put that all in there and learn from the content as you go. That's actually very important all year, right? You can use systems like Facebook and Instagram have fantastic analytics systems built in. You can also use things like Google Analytics on your website or your own website's analytics, but track what's going on. But pretty much just from the Instagram dashboard, the Facebook dashboard, um, there's a lot of ways you can track this stuff. 
pay attention and adjust and adapt. And then make sure, like I said, you're engaging. You're actually being present. You're being there. Post a story here and there, comment, like, follow people, answer questions, be a part of the conversation throughout the holidays. And if you do all of this and you do this, you're going to be super successful. If you guys have any questions at all, you can always reach out to me uh, or my agency at info at suitsocial.com or just go to www.suitsocial.com to learn more about social media marketing and how we can help you grow your business during the holidays and through the rest of the year. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to tune in to the next video next week.